It's Wednesday, another workout, let's talk about it. We're gonna start with the couch stretch, try to get the hips mobilized before we work out. You're gonna find yourself a chair or a couch and then get your top of your foot on, on it and then just let your knee come down to the floor. I've got a mat because my knees are a bit sensitive. And what you're gonna do here, uh, don't just kind of lean forward and get all relaxed. Think about reaching your hips forward so keep your torso upright, reach your hips forward by squeezing your glutes, keep your knee down, and then we're stretching the front part of this leg here. So your quads and your hip flexors. We're just gonna hold that, taking deep breaths the whole time uh, for the allotted time, and then switch legs. We're gonna do hip circles on all fours. Um, basically, this is gonna look very similar to the hip cars that we've done several times before. Um, but instead of the focus being on the mobility and very slow, this is more focused on warming up the hips, getting it lubricated and working and warmed up. So get your hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips. We're going to take one knee and we're going to go in a full hip circle 10 times in one direction and then you'll go 10 times in the other direction. Nice big movements and you should be feeling that whole hip warming up and super simple the last one is just a squat hold so get your good squat stance coming straight down get your hips at least to knee height or just above that knee height and we're going to hold that there for the allotted time so your workout we're doing six rounds of supersets again where you're going to go now there's three different supersets you're going to go six rounds on the first and then six rounds on the next and then the third 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, alternating between those two exercises. So for example, I'm starting with the Bulgarians and the side plank. So I'll go 40 seconds on the Bulgarians and then 20 second rest, 40 seconds on the side plank, 20 second rest. That would be one round, I'll do that six times. Now, for this one, we're doing uh, alternating sides each round. So I'll go right leg on the Bulgarian for the whole 40 seconds and then I'll go right side on the side plank for the whole 40 seconds. And then the second round, I'll go left side for them both. So the Bulgarian split squats, get your back foot up on a chair or a couch. You can go on the toe or the top of the foot, whatever's more comfortable for you. This front foot, just wanna keep it flat on the ground, come straight down. So this back knee's gotta bend and come straight down. Keep your nose over your toes to keep that slight forward lean. And then back up tall. So control and down and up. Control and down and up. Keep that front foot flat. See if you can keep rhythm throughout the whole 40 seconds and not stopping too long at the top. Then you're coming down into your side plank. So elbow beneath the shoulder, stack your feet up on top of each other, hold that side plank staying high in the hips, not letting it sag and not letting the shoulders cave in either. So stay tall up here. If it's too hard from the feet, bring your knees down, bring your feet behind the knees and just hold it right there. Next, we're doing pulling and a plank. So for the pull exercise, you can choose to do an inverted row on the table, like we've done several times before, or you can just do a chainsaw row here if you have um, a backpack filled with books or a dumbbell, etc. So if you're doing the chainsaw row, you got one foot here, one foot comes back. If my right foot comes back, then I'm pulling with my right arm. Um, up to you whether you go hand or elbow. I like to go elbow if it's a little bit more sturdy for me. And then we're gonna grab onto your weight Reach with the elbow to pull back and control down. So pull back with the elbow and control down. Just keeping in mind, kind of like you're pulling your hand to your holster and not up to your armpit, right? And then you're doing your plank. For your plank, elbows beneath your shoulders. Separate your hands. Hold that strong crunch position, not letting your low back cave in. Next superset, we're talking about step ups and dead bugs against the wall. For your step ups, we're well, alternating between each round. So I'll go your right leg the whole first round, left leg the second round, et cetera, et cetera. To do these step ups, I'm not looking for as many reps as possible. I'm looking for good controlled reps the whole time. So what that could look like is step up onto the chair, or chair or couch or whatever you have. Obviously the higher the, the object, the harder it's gonna be. And then control down. Ideally, we don't jump off the ground with the bottom foot. You can just kind of kiss the floor and back up. So jumping would be something like that. I don't want that. I love if you just kind of kiss the floor, back up tall, and then again. That's how we're gonna get the most tension and work out of that one leg and uh, the most benefit out of that exercise. Then we're coming down on the ground. Get your back on the floor. 
head up against the wall for your dead bug. We're pushing hands into the wall. Knees come up at 90, low back stays flat on the ground. Feel your abs working to push the low back down. Push your hands into the wall, reach one leg all the way out with your heel and then back. So I'm keeping tension in my shoulders and I'm keeping that low back down the whole time. These supersets, this style of workout is one of my personal favorites for these at-home workouts. I find it's a good way to still get a good muscle burn and keep good technique through all the exercises. But I'd love to get feedback from you guys and let me know which ones you like the best. I love and I value your feedback. Um, so give me some feedback so that I continue making these workouts um, as good as possible.